All right, sports fans, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and we all know what that means. It means that the house is torn apart. Yep, we had a bunch of Finna gang over here, um, family that we have made family, and family that you were born into, and here's the oil. What a mess. Uh, there's the slick horns that the boys were lassoing. I think Evan did a pretty good job of that. You know, he could be on that show Yellowstone. Uh, there's plenty of beer in there, shovels in the event. We had a fire, Yetis, you know, chairs there. We got the the Kamado out there, and of course the obligatory porta potty. But uh, Captain T is a little worse for wear today. <clears throat> but as always, we have commitments, so we abide by those commitments. And so we got to get this after Thanksgiving Day gumbo made. So got the kitchen largely cleaned up, um, and we're getting ready to start chopping and popping here. Under the roof. Gonna take a little while to get this roof the right color. All right, sports fans, let me have you show you what we got here. So we had enough stock that we literally had to make two pots of this. And since we had two turkeys, we had one turkey that was dry brined and done on the Kamado. Um, and then it had a, a whole medley of vegetables and greens and herbs and stuff like that underneath it, which then all the drippings went down into it. Um, a lot chicken stock and white wine went into it. And that is in here as well as the stock that I typically make from the turkey carcass. Um, that the night of, I made that last night and then pulled all the meat uh, off of both turkeys. So the flavor profiles, of both of these turkeys are in here. One of them is Cajun uh, butter injected with a um, yard bird uh, rub on it. And the other one is dry brine, a lot of pepper. Uh, and then the, um, the smoke from it as, long, as well as that sort of that steam bath that's constantly happening in there uh, with, um, with all that stock and the drippings underneath it. So the flavor profile of this is a little different, but um, we got about three and a half, almost four pounds of andouille sausage cut up in here, all the leftover turkey, the, uh, the, the, the medley or the holy trinity of the vegetables there with the green pepper, the onions, green onions, parsley, some uh, cilantro Hank's hot sauce in there to give it a little kick. Worcestershire stuff like that. This was an awesome Thanksgiving and Captain T wants to tell everybody that's watching how much I love you and how special you all are to me and that I am extremely, extremely thankful for you. Well, here's what we're left with. A vat of oil, sand, leaves, tools, beers, seltzers, various debris that we need to clean up. Feeling much better today, sports fans, much better. Probably give you a view of the basement, see what's going on there. Miss Lisa tried to keep me out of there because it was still in kind of disarray. But we're gonna get this cleaned up. That's part of the price. The gumbo is made. I showed you some shots of that. Uh, gonna have some company tonight, Nana, and I think uh, uh, brother Dave is coming over. I'm uh, gonna enjoy some gumbo with us. Connor already came in for his, uh, 
his bowl. They're doing Friendsgiving over there. They're going to fry a turkey. Lukey's got a, uh, a my first rig uh, that I gave him that he fries turkey with, and he's turning everybody on fried turkey. It's just the best dang way to eat turkey. So best thing to do here is just get busy. Let's go. Time to check down below and see uh, what firewood or whatever that the, uh, the children were getting into when uh, Lisa and I passed out at the end of the day. More on that later. I figure you just, you stay here. Just as I thought. They're trying to burn, burn more of Captain T's firewood while This stuff got me through COVID. Half Lysol and a huge thing from Costco and half tap water in a spray bottle. I mean, it'll knock out anything. how it's done son all right sports fans almost done uh, just got to deal with these beverages and a few of the uh christmas boxes and stuff like that that we brought back over from the container that um we need for for decorating the house for miss lisa for christmas the final blow out of the garage and then maybe we'll do a walk through the basement and we gotta get to work all right so let's deal with the beverages Captain T should own stock in Yeti. They owe me a great debt of thanks. Oh, these Sims Kispiox gloves, fabulous. I'm working with ice cold water. It's about 36 degrees out here. And this is ice cold water. The ice is barely melted. It's been there for two days. It is absolutely sub zero. Well, freeze water anyway. It's really cold. And I have Raynaud syndrome and this doesn't bother me. So it's pretty darn good.